IIS load balancing configurations. I'm combining a couple of people's questions in this response because several people asked, how do you make IIS faster and how do you make IIS more secure and how do you spread your website across several IIS installs? So, IIS load balancing is how you scale up IIS. Now, you can do this a couple of different ways, but I have a favorite configuration that I deem right or the best practice. So, your couple of options are that you can use the Microsoft cluster server configuration that will allow you to round robin between different IIS installs as traffic comes in. This has some advantages in terms of the ability to add and remove IIS instances and maintain some of the sessions and the configurations across those servers. So it's probably not a bad thing to just run the cluster configuration in order to do this. However, anytime I do an IIS configuration or an Apache configuration or any other web server configuration, I make sure that I install a reverse caching proxy in front of it so that I can do a couple of different things. One, I can do load balancing. A reverse caching proxy will be session aware, and I just talked about the seven layers of networking, and sessions is one of the ones that I did remember. But session aware so that it can say, this user's traffic will always go to this particular web server. And by managing those sessions, you can balance the load across several web servers and the light lifting that is done of round robbing and caching static assets is done by your reverse caching proxy. If you're going with an entirely Microsoft solution, the reverse caching proxy you should run is called Forefront TMG for Threat Management Gateway. This used to be called Internet Acceleration and Security, IAS. So, based on those recommendations, you can do it with the all Microsoft solution. However, you can also use Squid, which is a Linux product, in order to do your reverse caching proxy and load balancing. Or, if you want to do your caching in the cloud and add lots of scale, you can use my CDNInABox.com product, CDNInABox, B-O-X, dot com. And it will do load balancing from the cloud and use Google's Edge Cache as the caching proxy so that you can accelerate your static assets. In any of these cases, you're doing basically the same thing. You're saying, I have a billion people who would like to talk to my web servers, but my web servers have to calculate the pages in order to serve those. And so I need to have 20 web servers load balanced. And you can do this, like I said, with a reverse caching proxy. You could do it with round robin DNS, where your DNS server would actually go out and say, the first request that comes in goes to this web server, the second request goes to this web server, the third request goes to this web server. The downside to using round robin DNS is that everybody who uses something like Google DNS or Open DNS or is on AOL or Comcast is going to have their request cached. So if, for example, you did something that was very popular in the New York region, everyone might be on Comcast. And so rather than being round robin the way they should be, everybody would come in through Comcast. Comcast would request that DNS. It would cache that DNS for the next 15 to 30 minutes. And all of the requests that came through Comcast would hit the same server. So if you don't have good display, dispersion, I think dispersion is the right word, across your network so that you have good diversity of locations that people are coming from and network paths that they are going to get there, round robining doesn't work. Um, the other option that you have is to do grid computing for IIS and that can be done on some of the EC2 stuff where you actually have multiple IIS instances and they all appear as a single IIS. This only scales up so far and it's got other issues and you've got to have done a lot to write your code so that it can handle those things and I've seen that it breaks with sessions. So it's not a solution that I would recommend but it's a solution that I've seen people do.
Again, my recommended solution always works, reverse caching proxy, either Squid or TMG or CDN in a box or one of the solutions from Akamai that does PLC. So that's how you should do your IIS load balancing configuration.